This chronicle is sponsored by Southern Alberta Peterbilt, building your dream trucks today. Vivid Lumen, turning the nighttime into daytime. Trucks accessories for all your custom needs. And by Pana Pacific, Peterbilt's electronic supplier. In this trek, we head back into British Columbia to explore the Columbia and Western Rail Trail, also known as On this trek, we're joined by Dana, Ken, their daughter Ainsley, myself Jody, and Michael Dirksen. Since Ken's the one that put this trek together, and he finally downloaded the Gaia mapping system, eh, we're letting him take lead on the navigation. As I come out to find out where Ken's navigational skills will let us, I see Amsley waving me over. She's just puzzled. Why can't three modified jeeps climb over these little rocks? As I left her puzzled about this for a little bit, Ken and Dirk go to scout out the trail ahead. After scouting the trail, Ken and Dirk figured it would just be safer to turn around. Too much down bush. Well, lead on, Ken. Second time's the charm. The stench that I was smelling was coming from Ainsley. Well, not so much Ainsley. She found a jig of solvent on the side of the road and was good enough to pick it up. Good girl. And now we come up to our next problem. How do we fit Ken's Jeep underneath this fallen tree? With a little work from the bow saw that Ken brought, we were able to clear some of the branches so Ken could fit underneath. I foolishly called this saw a bone saw. I guess I'll never live that down again. As I don't really have much faith in Ken's navigational skills, we come up to a Y. And the Y is, should we have turned right or have gone straight? Well, according to mine, let's just keep going the way you're going. Well, with Dirk confirming that Ken is going the right direction. Lead on, Ken. Lead on. Getting close to the edge there, buddy. You've got 20 feet to your right. Add it straight back. I spoke too soon. Ken should have veered off to the right, but he veered to the left. Well, third time's the charm. Way too many offshoots. Yes, Ken. That's what it is. Way too many offshoots. With all kidding aside, Ken's navigational skills finally brought us to the trailhead. Make your way along the trail, you'll come across different spots like this, with historical information about the trail. Planning function is a supply center for railway construction in that vicinity, as well as a base for engineering services for the segment between West Robson and the Bulldog Tunnel. Horses were used for hauling supplies to the rail bed from the landing. After completion of construction, the landing proximity to the operating railway supported the continuing existence. Shield Station provided a trailhead to trap lines and prospects in Upper Blueberry and Sheep Creeks. It also supported a logging operation for Greenwood Sawmill and offered a convenient access to lakeside residences of summer homes. The Columbia and Western Rail Trail is 162 kilometers long or 100 miles, stretching from Castlegar to Midway, British Columbia. With the last train running through it in 1991, CP Rail, in the year 2000, decided to donate it to the province of British Columbia. As you make your way along this trail, you'll find yourself weaving in and out of various train tunnels and very high train trestles. 
This is a very moderate trail, but one thing that always keeps you on your toes is the huge drop-offs on the one side. After passing through various tunnels, we finally come upon our first train trestle. Now, a lot of you might think that this is not a very high train trestle, but being scared of heights, you always get a feeling of vertigo. Not quite as big, but a little bigger? What does that mean? He said this one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, he's right. It's a little bit bigger. Here comes the vertigo feeling again. We come up to the Bulldog Tunnel. The Bulldog Tunnel is 910 meters, 2,099 feet long tunnel that goes through the Bulldog Mountain. It is highly recommended that you bring lights with you when you travel through this tunnel. Well, thanks to Vivid Lumen, we can turn the nighttime into daytime.
Thank you for joining us on this chronicle. Please join us again as we head off track for the journey home. <laughs>